So today is a very, very special day. It's little baby Petal's birthday. She's 11 years old. I haven't got everything that I would normally have to do a birthday cake, but the fundamentals are here. It's an amazing chocolate cake that is so simple, so reliable, so delicious. Now let's just start the story. I've got some golden caster sugar here. I only had 130 grams. I've literally run out of sugar. And then I made it up with 70 grams of icing sugar. So it doesn't matter if you go from white sugar, golden sugar, icing sugar, it's all good guys. So 200 grams of that. Then I've got 200 grams of butter going straight in. In this pan, I've got an inch of water and I'm bringing it to a simmer. Just put a bowl on top of that. Don't let it touch the water. And we're gonna melt the butter, the sugar, and the chocolate. Normally I would say, oh, 70% cocoa solids. But guys, 200 grams of the best chocolate you can get your hands on. Although I kind of got a feeling that there's a fair amount of chocolate in the cupboards around the country. So let this melt for about five or so minutes. Give it a stir every now and again. It's gonna be amazing. While that's doing its thing, I have a little heart-shaped mold. I wanna show you how you can make it so that the sponge does not stick to the tin. Now you can get some greaseproof paper. I haven't got any. That little bit of leftover butter, just rub that generously around the edge. A tablespoon of flour into this, knock it around. And you see how it's sticking to the butter. And that will protect your cake give it a tap out. So that is ready and raring to go. The next stage, we're gonna add to this bowl, the chocolate, to so have a look at that. The butter, the chocolate, and the sugar has all melted. All of that chocolate goes in every last bit. Use a spatula for this, guys. So after a couple of minutes, this chocolate mix would have cooled down a nice little bit. We're gonna add six eggs, crack those in, and then we'll go from a spatula to a whisk. So I'm gonna stand up for this. It's now gonna do beautiful things, right? We'll whisk in that first egg, and then we'll crack in the second. Next one, Wah! last but not least, egg number six. So that's the basis for the most amazing chocolate cake. What we can do at this stage is flavor it. So I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla paste or extract, and then I'm thinking chocolate, chocolate orange. All you need, literally all you need, is two or three little gratings of orange. To give it the structure, I've got 200 grams of self raising gluten-free flour. If you don't need to be gluten-free, just use the regular self-raising flour. For now, petal is gluten sensitive. I'll sift that in. I'm just gonna now fold this flour into the mix. <laughs> Chocolatey gorgeousness. And I'm gonna pour this into our mold. We will bake that for about 50 minutes, at 160 degrees Celsius. And then I'll show you what to do next. So I now have a new cameraman and that's little buddy. Come around here, buds. Uh, Mum's gone to do some jobs. River's running around, um, so it could go into chaos now. But the buttercream part of this recipe is very, very simple. So bro, back to your posts. So I have melted in the same fashion over a little water bath, 200 grams of chocolate again. Just get right, be really curious, buddy. I've just used any chocolate I can get my hand on. Sit at the end if you want. Come sit here. Yes. Dad, can, I have, can I have a little bit of lick? Yeah, you can have a lick in a second. 200 grams of icing sugar. Then we're going to go in with our chocolate here. Either can I have a lick of chocolate? Are you going to be a good boy? Oh, be a good boy. I know. I'm going to go in with 200 grams of butter. I was going yeah, to get <laughs> buddy. is so <laughs> jealous right can now. I have I'll have the bowl. No, that's all I've got. That's all I I've got. Can I have the bowl? You can have the bowl. There you go. That's your bowl. You can have that later. <laughs> so I um, need actually um, a spatula, but that's got spit all over it. I'm just going to get some river. Yeah. Can, can I have a spatula? Yeah. River. Where should I sit? Is like chaos. So um, now what we're going to do is just mix it all together. I want chocolate. No, there's a camera, darling. There's a camera. I got a chocolate for A little pinch of salt. Okay, so guys, that is the buttercream. Yes. Guys, come on. Just let it cool down. Once it's got to room temperature in about an hour's time, I'll show you how to fill it and dress it. So this is all very exciting. The cake has now cooled down and sometimes it kind of souffles in the oven and then it sags. You can see it's done that now. Please do not worry about that at all, okay? You can do one of two things. Go with it and just fill that gap, no trouble at all, I'm gonna do that. Or you can just trim it off. So we're gonna put that on our platter. Here we have our lovely buttercream. Look at that, and almost butter it. Will be amazing. Look, put some raspberries in there, cover up a thousand sins. Think it looks like a heart, buddy? Oh yeah, it looks like a heart. Let's try and get birthday right. Put that chocolate up to your side, get a flat knife and just drag it towards you. All the little folds. So, Jules, we're done. That is so. 
That's amazing. Like? Yes, yeah, she's going to go mad. So there you go. Lovely birthday cake. Breathe. <laughs> what do you reckon, pets? It's really good. You like it's it? It's so nice.